Welcome again to the Fundamental Physics Experiment from Fundamental Physics Laboratory, Department of Physics, Faculty of Science and Technology, Alanga University. This is the fourth experiment and it's about sounds and waves. In this experiment, we are gonna use the concept of closed organ pipes experiment to determine the speed of sound wave in the air. These are a few concepts in physics related to this experiment. First of all, mechanical waves. If we are talking about mechanical waves, this kind of the propagations of disturbances from place to place in a regular and organized way. Most familiar are surface waves that travel on water. However, sounds, light, and the motion of subatomic particles all exhibit wave-like properties. Mechanical waves anyway, such as sounds, require a medium through which to travel, while electromagnetic waves, let's say electromagnetic radiations, do not require a medium and can be propagated through a vacuum. Propagation of wave through a medium depends on the medium's properties. The second basic concept is about the longitudinal waves. As origin, waves come in two kinds. The first one is longitudinal, and the second one is transverse. Transverse waves are like those in water, with the surface going up and down, while longitudinal waves are like of those of sound, consisting of alternating compressions and refractions in a medium. The high point of the transverse wave is called the crest, and the low point is called the throw. For longitudinal waves, the compressions and refractions are analogous to the crest and through of transfer waves. The distance between successive crests or throughs is called the wavelength, and the height of the wave is the amplitude. How many crests or through pass a specific point during a unit time is called as a frequency. The velocity of the wave can be expressed as the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. Okay, let's we talk about the third one. The third one is about the resonance. By definition in physics, the resonance occurs when one object is vibrating at the same natural frequency of the second object, then forces the second object into vibrational motion too. Your understanding over the resonance phenomena is crucial because it's related to some powerful applications in spectroscopy for most of you are in chemistry, as well as in the signal processing for everybody who learns about electronics. This is a good chance for you to learn and understand this concept through this set of experiments in the fundamental physics. Let's we talk the last one, which is organ pipes. If we talk about the closed organ pipes, it is a pipe which open in one end and closed in another end. Remember that it's actually air that is doing the vibrating as a wave here. The air at the closed end of the pipe must be a note because it's fixed and not moving. Since the air is not free to move there, and must be able to be reflected back. There must also be an anti node where the opening is, since that is where there is a maximum movement of the air. In this experiment, we are going to determine the speed of sounds or sonic waves in the air as the mediums. How do we get the aims of the experiment? We are supposed to use the closed organ pipes concept, such as the concept of the first harmonics the seconds and so forth to get the aims. However, you will still need to interpret the correction factors on these experiments to give you an idea and a bit understanding what the compensations of the medium used in these experiments. It is actually a straightforward rational that the way of thinking when you know that we obviously need these correction factors as a physical quantity. Alright, and these are the materials and tools we are gonna use in this experiment. The first ones we're gonna use the millimeter strip 
to measure the length of the air columns, and this millimeter strip is already sticked on the glass pipe. The second one, the glass pipe, as an organ pipe. In this experiment, we're gonna use the closed organ pipe. And then the third one, we're gonna use speaker as a sound source. This speaker is connected to the function generator. The function generator itself is to generate the electronic signal driven into the speaker. The next one, you're gonna use the vernier caliper to measure the air gap between the rims of the glass pipes and the speaker. Then we need water for the variable node positions when we are varying the length of the air column. The next one, who's to connect the water reservoir to the organ pipe. And the last one, we need the container as a water reservoir connected into the glass pipes. The basic concepts we are using in these experiments is the calculations of the resonance on the closed organ pipe such as the fundamentals, first, second and so forth of the resonance. However, we also need to evaluate the correction factors E on these equations associated to the air gap between the speaker and the rim of the glass pipes as the organ pipes in this experiment. The following instruction is actually how we carry the experiment out. First of all, we need to prepare all of the stuff and apparatus. Secondly, fill up the reservoir containers with water. Then, switch the function generator on. Then, we will hear the sound out from the speaker. And then we manipulate the height of the glass container so that the water level is at just lower than of the rim of the glass pipe. Then start to lower the water level and listen up the first tone of the resonance. Keep going to find another resonance and then you will see that there is a higher resonance after the first. And then change the frequency into the higher one and redo it again from the start. And here is the experimental data. Your data set is going to be filled up into this table. You got the mth resonance, the order of the resonance, the fundamental, the first, the second, and so forth and so forth. And then you have the length of your air column due to the resonance positions. And you actually have done the repetitions three times. Take the average of, of those three then your data is going to be ready for the calculations. You need to do the linear regressions and so on and so on. Now we come up to the task for the students. This part is actually very crucial. So be mindful for the first one that you need to draw the graph of the length of your air columns as a function of the order of the resonance for the respective frequencies. So for example, you have two or three different frequencies of the, source, of the sound source. You will have two or three different graphs. So in this case, you need to do your linear regressions coming out from your three different graphs. And then you're going to use these three different quantities from the linear regressions into the calculations of sonic wave speeds using the linear regression on the first task as well as you need to determine the correction factors E. To do this, you need to compare between the air gaps from the speaker to the rims of your glass pipes. So what kind of the relationship between this? Because these two have the same dimensions, which is length, because you measure it, okay? And then the third one, you need to compare 
between the sonic wave that you already got relatively to the reference values that you can do from the following formula. So just take the, the ratio or just take the comparison between these two. Okay? And here, I want to say thank you for watching and listening as well as get well prepared for your midterm exam next week and good luck for your exam. See you at the next session after the midterm exams. Bye!